Hey guys, Wayback Rewind here. I was getting a slow card error on one of my devices because my SD card wasn't fast enough. But what do all these numbers mean? In order to buy a new card, I had to understand that. And it's very confusing because it is confusing. So I'm going to explain it to you. Coming up next here on Wayback Rewind. If you're like me, you have a ton of SD cards in various sizes and shapes and capacities. And if you get a slow card error, it's not always obvious what card you need to replace it with. And how do those speed ratings work in the first place? The SD card contains a lot of information on the form factor, bus speed, capacity. I'm going to go over the speed class and video class next. The original speed class was defined as the minimum sequential write speed in megabytes per second. The original was 2 megabytes, then they had 4 megabytes, 6 megabytes, and then 10 megabytes. And it's interesting to note these are minimums. Current cards could still be labeled as 10. I'm going to talk about that later. The next speed class is the ultra high speed class, UHS-1, which guarantees 10 megabytes per second as before, and UHS-3, which guarantees 30 megabytes per second. But this is a minimum, so cards that are faster could still be labeled as UHS-3, which makes this one also ambiguous. For those of us interested in video, the video speed class is the least ambiguous. The minimum sequential write speed is guaranteed for video speed class. V30 will give you 30 megabytes per second. There's no fuzz on that. So if you need faster, get a V60, which will guarantee 60 megabytes per second. The final speed rating is the application performance class. It measures input output operations per second. An A1 will guarantee 1500 IOPS and an A2 will guarantee 4000 IOPS. Now this is something that is more important for computers that are doing random access and input and output. For video, this is less important. So I would focus on the video class if you're doing this for video. So what do we learn here? Now that we know how to read speed classes, we know that the new card that I bought is three times faster than the old one. And faster is always better. But by how much is sometimes unclear. This card, for example, has three different speed ratings, 10 megabytes, 30 megabytes, and 60 megabytes. Since those represent minimums, you should always go with the fastest one. Even in this case, it's a non-standard speed measurement. In terms of bus speed, there are three, ultra high speed one, ultra high speed two, and ultra high speed three. UHS-3 doesn't even exist yet. In UHS-2 is very rare, unless you're into digital SLRs or something that use a lot of data. All of mine are UHS-1. SD cards come in four families. The original SD card was only eight megabytes with a maximum of two gigabytes. SD high capacity increased the max to 32 gigabytes and SD extended capacity increased the max to two terabytes, although two terabyte cards are still rare. SD ultra capacity will increase the max to 128 terabytes in 2025. SD cards came in three form factors. The original was the full-sized SD card. The mini came later and are discontinued now, but I did have one of these in my original smartphone. And then finally, the micro was originally called the TransFlash, but it was adopted into the SDA standard and became known as the micro SD card. They are now the most popular among all three form factors. And one final note, in 1999, SanDisk, Panasonic, and Toshiba came together to agree on the secure digital memory card. It was designed to compete with the Sony memory stick, but is actually compatible. Through an adapter, you can actually plug in a micro SD card into a Sony memory stick pro duo.
And so there you have it. The SD card created almost 25 years ago has become the most popular flash memory in the history of computing and video and photography. And it shows no signs of stopping and it's becoming more and more powerful every day. If you found this interesting, I would like for you to please press the like button and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.